Well, 50 years have passed since civil rights leader Dr. Martin Luther King led that 1963 march on Washington where he delivered his historic I Have a Dream speech. Today we ask the question, are he and that message he so eloquently, de eloquently delivered still relevant? Joining us is Reverend Dr. Forrest Pritchett, Program Director of the Dr. Martin Luther King Leadership Program at Seton Hall University, and two of his students, Wallace Weaver, President of the MLK Scholar Association, and Christian Powell, Senior at the at, in that uh, MLK Scholar Association. Thank you all for coming Thank on board today. Thank you uh, let me throw this qu first question to you Thank first. You. Uh, uh, the relevancy of Dr. King in this day and age. Do we still look to him as, as, as great an individual as he was in that day? I sure do hope so. Dr. King... Um, continued a legacy which was started over 100 years earlier, the fight for freedom. We can think back to 1863 and the Emancipation Proclamation and the great freeing of that enslaved population. But he carried the message you know, into the, 21st, uh, the 20th century. It is now, I think, our responsibility to follow his model and even the model that uh, he followed, which is the servant leadership of Jesus Christ, into the 21st century. And we're so proud to uh, be the burden bearers of that legacy. If there were, if you were to take that speech and deliver it today, were, are there any things that you would change? I believe so. The, uh, the context, uh, the, obviously we live now more in a global economy, mm -hmm. uh, a global community. Communications are much more instant. And I believe that um, world poverty, uh, were crime, um, and the war, Still major, be major issues. issues. One day. And the state of African Americans as well. Yes. Uh, let me ask the two of you, as students, uh, when you look at the name on the marquee of this program, MLK Scholar, uh, what, do, what do you take with you when you leave and you go home every day? Um, I think primarily what you take back is a, a sense of obligation. When you are a Martin Luther King Scholar, every day you wake up knowing that this is your mission to continue the legacy of a man who stood for it so much and it just reminds you that we have come a long way but there's still so much more that we can do. Christian, what do you get from your fellow students when they know that you're a part of this program? What, what do you feel like you're, like, like you're the standard bearer of, so to speak? I do feel as though I'm the standard bearer. I feel as though I have to represent uh, not only Dr. King but also his legacy, uh, his legacy of scholarship and service. Uh, it is a burden, it is a great burden, but one that we all choose to uh, carry across that we choose to bear. But let me throw this out to the two of you because you're in an age generation where much of what we see in your generation is the rap culture. And, and that's something that many of us in the previous generations kind of decry and I'm sure you'll, you'll agree with that. But let me ask you, you, you feel like you're in a, in, a, in a space that people need to see more of that we don't see enough of? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I feel like our generation in particular are uniquely positioned to make a lot of change, to initiate a lot of change. I mean, we are um, first in this um, information age. We can mass mobilize at an instant. And I feel like we need to focus more on the capacity that we have to change and not necessarily the pop culture that is so prevalent in our society. Christian, your thoughts on uh, uh, some of the comments we've heard from, from uh, pundits today who call the African-American male the uh, disappearing species? Well, I think a lot of people would like to think so. Uh, but I think the media today, or, or much of the media, or much of uh, popular culture today only focuses on one side or one aspect or, or, or result of the socioeconomic positions that African American males have been placed into today. I don't think they focus on the full story. Uh, the, the sad part is that many times people like Wallace and I might not get the same uh, uh, or, attention, or, perhaps. attention perhaps or, or, or we won't be looked upon as a testament of the times or, or a testament of the progress that has been shown since Dr. King's death. Doctor, let me ask you, uh, 50 years, mm -hmm. how, have we, are, are you pleased with how far we've come? Pleased, very much so, and there's a lot more work to be done. Um, one example might be that racism, for example, was a lot more um, overt. Uh, 50 years ago, we find it a little bit more covert, more sophisticated, uh, but it requires diligence in, in dealing with it. Uh, I, I think many of us realize that through the uh, presidential campaign of Barack Obama, um, it's one of the last stands for a new type of perhaps racism and classism. And I think America sent a very resounding message in 2012 with his re-election. 
You know, one of the things that was striking to me as we saw some of the, uh, I wouldn't say protests, but but campaigns on the other side of the of the aisle, yes, sir. where you had folks wearing T-shirts that said "Put the white back in the White House." Yes, sir. Which was, uh, I mean, to be that open about it suggested that you know, the, the 50s and the 40s, some of that mentality is still out yeah. there. Brian, I can remember as a young man myself hearing another phrase. Um, as the civil rights movement became more persistent and our progress became very evident, uh, many uh, people began to say, you may get these laws, civil rights laws, but there's one thing you'll never get, you'll never get the White House. Now that we've achieved that goal, it's onward and upward. Well, that's something to be said. I think there are a lot of us in our generation who thought that would never, ever happen. Yes, sir. And here we are. We've got these two fine young men uh, with the next generation. So we're Indeed. looking forward to great things from all of you. Yes, sir. Thanks much for coming on board and sharing with us.